Hey guys, Rob here at 3D Printscape. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the plastic extruder on your Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro or really any of the Creality printers, so your Ender 5, CR10, etc. Any of them that come with the plastic. Uh, I've got a replacement here. Uh, this one came with the kit that I bought that also had the springs and the wheel. So I'll link to this in the description below. I'll also link to uh, just this one and another one that I also would recommend too. It's uh, the nice red one that's out there. Um, you see that probably in most of the printers. Uh, but this one did come with the kit and it'll work just fine. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is go ahead and quickly talk about why we want to replace it. Then we'll walk through uh, putting this together first. Some parts we have to assemble there. Then we'll go ahead and uh, disconnect or remove what's on the actual printer now and then connect it all back together. All right, so before we do that, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is why you want to replace this. Uh, this plastic one that comes with the printer is fine-ish to start with, but over time, it, the filament will start to kind of cut into the plastic and you'll see grooves kind of cutting through with the um, basically the size of the filament on this side. When I take this apart, I'll kind of show what I'm talking about. Um, over time, you're also going to start to have issues with under extruding as well. Uh, that's typically just a result of uh, it not being able to be fed in properly um, and then the uh, cut in the plastic as well kind of causing additional friction. Um, you won't have those issues with the aluminum or metal replacements. This upgrade is fairly cheap. Um, like I mentioned a minute ago, you can buy it as an individual component or as part of a kit with the springs and wheels. Um, I tried to bundle together because I did save a couple bucks, but it's your choice. Uh, if you want to get the red one, I think it's pretty much the same price, but again, I'll link to them in the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in on this guy and get started with the assembly. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Be careful not to lose any of these parts. I was going to set this off to the side here. All right, guys, now that we got everything out of the bag, I want to go ahead and put it in order. Uh, I also want to make a note that you will need some Allen wrenches. Um, so I just I grabbed the standard ones I used with the Ender for all the videos I've done so far. So I'm going to set these off to the side and then I just want to um, go in order based on the instruction sheet that came with the set and just lay out the screws and all the parts just so I know exactly what I'm working with. So I'm going to do that really quick and then we'll get started. Alright, I got everything laid out so we'll go ahead and start by assembling this uh, part first. This is going to be on the right side of the extruder. So we need part one here, which is the base, and then this piece slides into here. And this will go into here when we mount it, but I'm just gonna set it off to the side for now. Next, we're gonna to wanna to grab this bolt. This is the M38, um, so it's gonna be the eight millimeter long. And we'll go ahead and put the washer on it, and then the pulley, or just the wheel, whatever you wanna call it. And then this goes here, and we wanna tighten it to the point where it's nice and tight but the wheels, but the wheel will still move. All right, so we're good and tight there, and then the wheel is still moving, as you can see there. All right, next we wanna grab one of the number sevens or the M310s and go ahead and attach it here. This is what holds the spring in place on this side. It will just get to the end and kind of stop there, then I'll leave a little bit of it out, like so and then the spring will end up sitting like that. All right, so now that that's done, we'll just set this back in here just because it goes to that side and just set it off to the side for a second. And then next we'll go ahead and uh, grab this and start assembling it. Let's go ahead and grab the filament tube connector first. That just screws onto here. And we wanna make sure that that's nice and tight. Uh, you can use a wrench if you want, if you have one available, just to tighten a little bit more, but don't over tighten it. So I went ahead and grabbed a wrench and tightened that a little bit more. You just want to get it to the point where it's tight, but not over tight. And just so you guys know, this is a 10 millimeter uh, wrench. So that would be the size you need there. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take this apart here first. First thing we're going to want to do is uh, remove the uh, tube from it. So let's go pull that out. 
um, and then take off any attachments you have. And then we want to go ahead and just remove uh, these screws here, here, and here, uh, which are just used for mounting it. Before you do that, if you want, you can go ahead and unscrew this so you can get the spring out of there so there's no tension on it. All right, so now I got this spring off here. And I'm just gonna set these off to the side. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go back to removing these. And that just comes right off here. And then you can see when we're taking this off that this is just really cheap plastic with a couple metal fittings. And this stuff will break down and just wear out over time. All right, now that we got that off, we wanna go ahead and take this screw the rest of the way out just so we can get to the rest of the bolts easier. And then we'll take off these three screws here. It's gonna be a smaller Allen wrench. All right, now that that's off, we can set that off to the side as well, and then go ahead and drop the stepper motor, and you can unplug it if you want, just to make it easier to work with. And then we're gonna wanna go ahead and take off um, this gear here, because we got the replacement with the kit. And there's gonna be two screws here holding this in. Just gotta loosen it up. and then that'll just slide right off. All right guys, now we wanna go ahead and put this gear on uh, just loosely so it can still move up and down a little bit. Uh, make sure you don't over tighten these bolts. Once you strip them out, they're really hard to work with. And then go ahead and slide this into place here. And you want to kind of align the height of the gear so that this hole where the filament goes through is about midway up. And then once you have that, you can go ahead and take this back down and tighten these back up. All right, now that you got this tightened, uh, we'll go ahead and put it in place. So just go ahead and put this back where it was before and we'll put the new casing on it. And then we wanna go ahead and put one of the screws in just loosely so we can get the alignment in place. All right, now that that's loosely fitted, we'll go ahead and put in these back two screws here. And we didn't tighten it all the way because we still have to move these around to get the holes to align. Once these two are in place, the other two should be a lot easier. Um, but if you went ahead and tightened that first one all the way down at first, then you would have issues trying to get these two aligned. And then once we get these three in place, we can just tighten them down. The fourth one we won't have any issues with. And then as you're doing this, just go ahead and verify again that the height of the gear is right. And then, all right, now that those are in place, we can go ahead and uh, put this screw in. Uh, this is the M4, so this is a thicker screw, and it will just go through here. And we, we're only gonna go about midway through. It'll end up stopping um, when you get towards the end of the open area on this. It won't actually go into the thread. All right, so now that that's in place, we can go ahead and 
grab this initial fitting that we put together and just go ahead and put it here. And just loosely put this bolt in. And then we want to go ahead and get this spring in. So we can go ahead and pop this piece back off, kind of slide that into the spring. Um, then you can loosen this up if you have to on this side. Then go ahead and just push the spring into place and then push this in so that um, the middle of that fitting is aligned with the screw here. All right, then you'll tighten that up um, till you have about, a, a, I don't know, probably about a centimeter gap on this side. At that point, you're just, you're not able to go further into this bracket here, but you should have good tension on this spring now. Then we can go ahead and tighten this bolt up. All right, now that we have all that in place, you can go ahead and try to feed some filament through just to make sure that it works right. And that went through pretty well. And if you can see here, let me turn this just a little bit. Uh, the filament is about midway up on this uh, gear here uh, so that when this turns, it will turn the filament um, properly. All right, then last thing we wanna go ahead and do here is I'm going to put the tubing in, push that through, and then go to put our clip on it so that it, that doesn't come loose. All right, guys, so that was the install process. There's not much to it, and it provides a lot of benefits, uh, including fixing the under extrusion issue, uh, fixing issues where it could potentially cause uh, carving in the plastic. You can somewhat see here where it started cutting into the plastic. It's really hard to see on the camera, but it's starting to cut the groove up uh, with the aluminum or metal um, replacements. You won't have that issue. I also wanted to make a note that it is much easier to feed the filament in with these as well. I had no issue sliding this in where with these I typically do. If you have any questions on the process or would like to see any other upgrades, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.